Greetings everyone, my name is Etterville, and welcome back to my Let's Play of Micro Emblem. During the last part, I completed Chapter 14, which involved several winding rivers which caused some bottleneck problems for, for my armored units. So now we're in Chapter 15, which has a huge cluster of enemies in this small space. Thankfully they're no towns, so it's just a direct slugfest. Now, these um, marshes will prevent armored units from crossing, so I don't need to worry about these armor knights as well as the soldiers, but I need to worry about the butchers and the rangers. So, our best option is to get our... We need to get Lex up, basically, as well as our rangers. They're gonna start advancing pretty fast now. And get our... And maybe get our armor knights closer. We need to hide Barty behind. Adam will also be hiding here. And we need to move our archers nearby. Hopefully this should be good enough for now. I'm not too sure though. But we'll see. Sadly the king is armored so he can't cross too well. At least Ross can do something. And we need to keep our healers close enough. So yeah, this is another map which will kind of, which is kind of favored towards armor units, uh, non-armored units. I mean, this is probably going to take a few resets, though. Okay, they're going the other way for some reason. Miss, of course. Why not? Why wouldn't that happen? Lex is taking some damage. Hmm. At least we can take this one out. And do a critical, wonderful. We can push this one back. Ah, sure, Carl can take at least one blow. I'm not too worried about that. Meanwhile, on the west front, we probably should get Roger and the rest of the crew over there. And get some healers nearby. Okay, I think we're good. We're in good shape here. Of course, uh, the healer will come nearby. But thankfully, they only have one healer. Okay, Sane got a level up, plus one to every stat, excluding HP, which is plus two. So they will be bottlenecks. So that's to my favor. And the fact is, they don't. They go in a specific turn order, so they can do some pretty stupid things, thankfully. Oh no, that raider is going to be a bit scary to take care of now. A miss, of course. I'm going to try taking it on as quickly as possible. Get Naomi back so as soon as possible. That we can heal her up at least to the most part. The king can start doing some damage to this uh, raider. Get this one here and... Uh... Oh boy, these raiders are starting to get extremely durable. This is a large concern of mine now. At least it's a guaranteed hit over there. Lex can, do so, can outright kill this healer if he actually hit this time. Meanwhile, on this front... Let's get up here and we can do major, major damage because we're, um, Ross is pretty strong now. And get Doga here too. But yeah, this is quite concerning though because the map is so condensed I don't need to worry of wasting too much time if I lose. Uh, of course he's going to go for that one. Oh, concentrating fire. Maybe I can actually... Oh, the. Uh, he got a crit. Wonderful. Okay, let's try this again, then. Okay, take two. At least I won't really cut this off, because we're so close, uh, close to the beginning anyway. So I'm going to start by trying to do some damage on this front. And get my Cavaliers to this point. Let's see if I can take the West approach this time. 
or if they're going to try advancing rapidly. Party needs to retreat, of course. Okay, hopefully this and this has better yields, better results. Yeah, they're gonna try targeting, multi-targeting the king now. Oh, though, okay, they're retreating for some reason. Meanwhile, Kent can finish that one off. Good. We we have less things to worry about. Less things to worry about now. I will take some retaliation, but I can always heal it back up with Carl. I'll use my king as a punching bag still. And move Roger and the rest of the crew on the west side. Yep, still going to use him as a punching bag, basically, until I can take care of that other archer. Or, of course, yeah, if I can kill off that healer, it, it'll it'll basically speed up the flow of the fighting. But I doubt it because of... Okay, he, that archer is out. He's out now. I can take him out. Miss, of course, because of... I want to at least quickly take this on, so I'll... Sure, let's finish it off this way. Get Gordon to do a trade over here. And get Naomi to finish this one off. Meanwhile, Sane and the rest of the crew can actually start advancing up here. And Roger as well, and Ross. Oh yeah, and Doga. Can't forget him. Wonderful, and I can actually do a snipe here. This one's gonna target uh, someone else soon, so heal up the king. Lex needs some healing. I'll get, I'll give it to him in the next turn. Okay, wonderful. As long as you can take care of some of the uh, range units, uh, it'll result in less unpredictability. Eh, I, I need to move out my cavalier too. Whoa. A bit risky at this point. If that cavalier strikes um, and hits, I may be in grave danger. Uh, yeah, he did. Okay, take tree. I'll cut up, cut to this point then now. Okay, I'm at roughly the same point as where I left off, maybe a little bit further. Jess almost died in the last turn, as you may have noticed. She needs to get a healing ASAP. She can't survive another hit. What 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 I can oh way get her here and start targeting down this raider. Name is almost dead as well. Heal up Jess immediately. Naomi needs to get healing up here. We can at least do massive damage to him. And I want to take out this armor. It's causing too many problems, so let me finish this armor off. Okay, Naomi will be able to take another blow. So that's good. Lex. That healer's still up and alive, so it's going to try healing some of, our, uh, some of those enemy troops. The problem is I can't advance any further without risking hurting some. Hurting one of my allies. Someone advanced and caused another problem. Probably should get. I should get the king on the other side so he can actually do something of use. And Bob at least hold, held his ground pretty well over there. Oh, yeah, Gordon got a level up. Um, Bob is a. And Jess is pretty good. 
I know one of us got another level up, so I think it was Naomi. Yeah, I need to retreat. He's gonna go for directly for me, so I need to retreat this one. Sorry. If I move it to the other side, they're gonna try going for Natalie, so I, I can't really do that. And uh, it's too high risk, so I need to wait another turn. But we're finally getting there. Especially as uh, that Raider is using Naomi as a pincushion. Ugh, I didn't know. Oh boy. Is she gonna die again in the next turn? Oh, my goodness, that was a clutch second dodge. As you may have noticed, this is our second dodge from this same ranger, my goodness. Jess is a miracle jo dodger at this point. Can we kill this one off in this turn? <sighs> I hate these misses. Oh, so much. See, I. This is why it becomes so annoying when you can adly can you ad avoid everything. Yeah, she will, she will survive if I can retreat her, so that's what I'll be doing. So I'll retreat her here. Sorry, but my priest will, will take a hit. And I can just leave Lex over here. Sorry. Let's just hope and pray that the next turn I survive, otherwise I'll have to do another uh, split cut over there. Oh wonderful, he went there. What? How did he kill him in that just one blow? Uh, okay, another split cut. This is turning out to be annoying. At least this is a short map. Okay, I've decided to go on for, on for a new strategy. This time, instead of taking on the right side, I'm going to eliminate all the foes on the left side, which includes most of the ranged units, and then take on the raiders on the right side, as they are the ones who usually put a spanner into my works, or my plans. Kill off that soldier. Yeah, the butcher needs, needs to go the most. Uh, he need Roger needs some healing. He'll get some now. Roger can now at least do deal some, at least deal some damage to it, slowly but surely. And I decided to use Lex a lot less. Oh, wrong one. Lex a lot less here, so he wouldn't die as often. I keep forgetting he's more of a glass cannon. And the armor knights are actually being a lot more useful than they were before, but that was due to the, the change in strategy, of course. Sadly, Bob is, uh, Bob's uh, efforts in the previous run were eliminated due to my mistakes. We need to kill off that ranger uh, priest as quickly as possible, of course. Wonderfully, he, the, he, I can now send Kent right forward and do, deal some significant damage. So I'll finally get Cole to eliminate that fiendish foe. Let's at least... Try, okay, Gordon gets to the same level up as before. Wonderful. Finally eliminate this knight. Roger is very close to leveling. Doga... 
fairly fairly good as well. I need to get them at, at a better position though. Oh. Yeah, I need to blockade that. Heal up Mark. I'll keep uh, Carl uh, down here just to be safe. And Ross over there. Sane needs healing, so we'll get it the next turn. Oh, the raider's moving up. Okay, we need to move the king faster. And one on the south. Okay, there is a ranger coming from the south side, too. Get Ken to the other side. Hopefully we can... Okay. That's perfect. Cole gets a level up. Wonderful. Can we at least slay this armor knight? Oh, we need that. We need Ross. At least we can uh, uh, do scratch damage to it. Yeah, I need to move it in better, better positioning and put Roger here. Sane can get his healing. And the king can move up a bit closer. Who needs it the most? I'll give it to Naomi for now. We can't have a choke point uh, clus uh, cluster over there, so... Yeah. Sane will slowly take the river route in order to get to the point where he needs to be. Oh, for crying out loud. Ugh. And I thought my strategy was foolproof. Okay, take six it is. See you there. Okay, we're at about the same point as before, this time with a slightly different enemy setup. And, whoa, Bob is doing quite a, quite formidable amounts of damage against these raiders. Okay, at least we found a use for him now. This raider is going to be a, sli a slight problem now. If we can get this, it'll be much... Okay, good. We don't need to worry about that raider anymore. And I've uh, retreated uh, both Adam and the other one over here. Meanwhile, Ross can just fight this... Well, they're having a dod dodging contest there, but we can at least uh, breed a little bit more better, because Naomi can survive the next blow. And then we can deal with this um, raider. I hope, unless someone gets another crit. Going for the king, of course, and the king counter crits. So yeah, Lex can fi uh, fix this. And give this to Roger. Wonderful. Roger's close to re-leveling up again. Amy's going to die in the next turn if we don't do anything. Actually, it's even better to... It's actually better to just place Naomi there, otherwise we'll take too much damage. Strangely enough. And of course the raider's on a, on a superior t uh, status tile, so we can keep dodging all this. How's Ross going in the fight? He'll get, he'll get that done eventually. He's either gonna go for Naomi or Gord. Meanwhile, Kent will slowly whittle down this rage ranger eventually. And Lex is out of Lex is not in a good position. Let's hope for no sudden crits. It seems like the enemy hit and uh, lock rating so high I have to worry about these criticals. Oh, I, I suddenly ending my run. If this was a normal run, uh, several of my characters would have died, been killed already. There is no question about that. Our main priority is that, that axe wielder. There is no question. The 
problem is, how do you whittle it down when it has that much avoid avoidance? Maybe Mark and the rest of the crew can actually get some, something done. And get Lex back up here, why not? I'm getting Bob out of there. Like, like before, hope that there won't be any sudden crits. Meanwhile, Kent will eventually finish that one off. And the healer has not done any healing, thankfully. Good. As long as it can actually... Okay, he's off the tile. Uh, that's wonderful, in fact. Yeah, I need to get on this side. Get Sane on this side. We can at least take pot shots at it now. And we can heal Gordon. Meanwhile... We're almost there, let's see if we can actually hit it. It can't- okay, it can't reach us, so let's take our chances. Wonderful. Yeah, we have the bottleneck here, but I think we should- oh, good. I forgot. Maybe we can hit that one, too. But he shouldn't be able to hit any of our weaker, weakened units, so I think we're in good shape. Uh, any su any sudden critical shouldn't actually kill any of my party members now. So at this sixth try, everything has finally gone swimmingly. The fifth try would have worked as well if I didn't, if he didn't go for my weakest units. Who I I wish there was a bench in this. Will they go, um... No. Okay, give Lex this one. Miss. You know what, I'll just do it this way. Oh yeah, Naomi can also get some healing for once. Meanwhile, Kent is still on the chase for this elusive ranger. Ah, sure, let's heal up Gord. And slowly let's move up everyone else again. Yeah, level 14 units. Eh. And none of our units are actually level 14 either. Uh, Bob and the King are our best options, but they're armored so they can't really reach there. Sure, let's give Lex this one. Good. He actually hit. Okay, let's spend a few turns healing everyone else up and start attacking and... Uh, you know what, I'm not gonna take that risk. I will move Naomi up too in order to start po taking pot shots though. Roger, he'll have to get a level in the next uh, level. There were not enough sword building units, and of course they were behind all these marshes, the lance units I mean. Sure, but I can keep taking pot shots there, so I'm not too worried. I want to make sure everyone's at full to prevent any stray criticals killing me and, or killing this run. Wonderful. They're not, they stopped moving, so we'll, be, we'll finally be able to finish this. You haven't really seen this due to all the edits, but for me, it's been taken almost an hour to complete this. Everyone's getting the level ups they need. 
I'm not advancing just yet. I want to lure out the archers first. But, but before that, let's kill off this uh, this healer, so he can't really heal up their allies again. Wonderful, thank you, Naomi. They're gonna advance very soon, so I better send Kent up here. Uh, I'll keep saying over here just to be safe. Oh yeah, and there's a for fortress there, which I don't really have a use for. Come on, one of them advance. Oh, they're not advancing. Three range units is going to be a slight problem. I'm going to slowly advance up there. Get one over there, move the king up here, and get Gordon too. And get some healers just in case, I'll leave my soldiers and other armored units over there. Wonderful. Oh, yeah. That's not too wonderful though. Finally, let's eliminate this ranger. And start sniping this one down. The king should be over here. Wow, 15% crit. Oh, and that, and that was a wonderful crit as well. Heal up there. Move Carl back. I get. Ah, uh, let's get Doga. Meanwhile, uh, yeah, Sane should be moving forward. Wonderful. There's a lot of wasted space in the northern side of the map, to be honest. Forty-eight percent chance of hitting. Yeah. Mark gets a level up, plus one to po a power, plus two to hit, plus one luck, plus one speed, plus two HP. That's one of his best level ups at, to this to this day. Can you finish it? I'm gonna take the risk. Yes, thank you. Okay, now we, we can deal with the... We can mop up with the rest without too much of a problem. And our healers are of course grossly overleveled due to my overly cautious strategy. And of course, going for my Cavaliers, thank you. Yeah, that uh, he can't really do much there. I'll just give Doga the killing blow there. I'll do, I think I'll just let Doga get the final ones. Where is he? Okay, Doga's there. I'll, I'll leave Roger for the next one. Sorry, Roger. So to summarize what I learned in this part, Bob has finally become useful, especially against raiders now. Not too much against butchers, but especially raiders due to their low defense. Okay, leave it to another turn. Ah, good. Kent is very close to leveling up as well. Should take about one more, one or two more turns. He'll survive. I, I'm, I'm not too worried about that. Plus, I'll heal up Dolga just to be safe. Wonderful. 
po plus one power, plus one HP. A little bit lackluster, but it's fine. Chapter 15 is done. We're on to chapter 16 next. And apparently, it's another castle siege. Oh yeah, this was the fort in the, in the previous stage surrounded by water, so yeah. Here's another fort, filled with a lot of other enemies. Though I feel like this is going to take a little fewer retries in the next one. Mainly less, uh, due to less rangers. And we're reaching the home stretch of the game, I realized. Only 16, 17, 18, and the secret chapter are left over. And I don't see many towns left. Uh, left. There was none in the last chapter, so we're almost at the full capacity of our army. Well then, thanks for watching, and have a nice day. Toodles!